Oh, it's so stupid. It fucking hurts. Oh, ow. Hello, my darlings. My name is Twiste, and today I'm going to be talking to you about... <sighs> Best way to describe this is just a fucking train wreck of a movie. That's right. This movie I'm going to be talking to you about is none other than the movie Smiley. Smiley is about a girl named Ashley who just started college and she moved in with this girl named Proxy. Ashley has been completely sheltered her entire life so she's never been to a college party before so Proxy decides to invite her to this party she's going to. At the party Ashley sees a bunch of guys doing this some cheap version of a chat roulette on the computer and they start to type out this saying. The saying is, I did it for the lulz. And apparently you need to type it three times and the person you type it to, when they turn around, the serial killer smiley will kill them and they'll watch you on your webcam. Uh oh god. Oh. Oh shit. It was just really, really freaking bad. The acting was horrible. Just the pacing was Oh god, it was taking forever. I put the movie on pause. I was hoping to myself, please let it be almost over. Please let it be almost over. Please let it be almost over. No, it was only about 45 minutes in and I had to suffer for another hour. Make it go away. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. This is the first horror movie that I've ever seen that's given me a headache due to pure stupidity. That's what this movie is. It's pure stupidity. This movie had three horror cliches. One is that Ashley wanted to go to the police and her roommate Proxy said, no, 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 don't go to the police. They're not going to believe us. They're absolutely not. Another horror cliche is Ashley tells her roommate that Smiley attacked her. Uh, Smiley actually attacked her and he ripped my shirt and Proxy's like, mm, okay. Sure he did. So, complete total of jump scares. 20. There was even this one part where Ashley turns around and there's the jump scare and then about five minutes later she's turning around the corner and she bumps into somebody else. Another jump scare! Oh, make it stop, please. Make, make, oh God, make it stop. Ow. Ow. So much. Ow. I will say one positive thing. Shane Dawson, he does a decent job of acting. I must say that. But, that's it. This movie is so freaking bad, I'm gonna tell you ha what happens in the end. So, in the end, Ashley dies because she believes that Smiley is finally in her house. She has a gun in her hand. He's got a freaking knife. She doesn't use the gun. So dumb. <laughs> Ow. Ow. No. Ow. But no, she instead accidentally shoots Shane Dawson, and then he gets his neck sliced, and then Smiley comes after her. She feels like there's no other, t there's nothing more that she can do, so she jumps out of a window, lands on the cement sidewalk, and breaks her head, and she dies. And then who's the culprit, I might ask? Oh, just everybody that died earlier? Apparently they were making a prank and they were hoping that there will be copycat killers all over the United States and other campuses where people are doing webcam chats and they'll want to do it and they'll start killing p other people off because they want to start a somewhat urban legend. Oh... What? it all off, the main guy, his name is Zane, he is Skype typing to Proxy, because Proxy, she was in on it too, and then when Zane is typing to, pro to Proxy, I did it for the lull three times, she tells him, oh that's really funny, and as it turns out, the real freaking Smiley slits her throat, stabs her eye, and then he looks directly at the webcam and he waves at Zane. For those few minutes, we were supposed to believe that this was a, like a prank. And then the prank turned out to be real? Trying to twist 
The twist? Rating overall, zero. Don't bother, don't even think about it. You'll be happy and you'll live a better life knowing you've never, ever seen this movie. So have any of you seen Smiley? What did you think of it? Do you think the idea of internet urban legends turning them into movies is actually a good idea or should they just stay stories on the internet? Write your comments below and tell me what you think and we will have a discussion about that. Please put your movie suggestions down in the comments below and I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. So until next time, my loves.